Hi, my name is Oliver Parker. Uh, I'm a second year studying game graphics and animation. Um, and this was a piece of coursework that I did for graphics technology module. The coursework was to display a 3D scene um, that had some animation and some user input in there. The scene itself contains three different kinds of lights. Um, it contains point lights, spotlights, and directional lights. And each one of these lights has three different components. They have a specular component, which allows you to see the reflections danced across some of the cars um, and the box. Uh, it has a diffuse component, which allows you to see how light something is the more uh, as it's facing the light itself. Um, so as an object rotates away from the light, it becomes darker. Uh, and it also has an ambient uh, component, which is lit all the same um, throughout the scene. This creates quite a realistic lighting view of the actual objects themselves. Um, and all the objects also have shadowing. Uh, this was created using a shadow mapping technique. Um, and what that does is actually renders the scene once for every light in the direction that the light is facing. Um, and then it compares the depths of each of these, of the object that the light sees with the depth of the object that the camera sees and decides whether or not it's in shadow. Um, the, all the objects themselves are placed within a scene, scene graph which enables hierarchical transformations. So within this scene I'm actually rotating the box and because the car is on top of the box the car is therefore rotating. Um, this allows the scene to have some quite complicated um, assets to it so it can be built up and, and you can create more and more complicated scenes without creating highly complicated code. Um, the scene itself can be moved and it uses keyboard and mouse control to uh, let the user have a look around and uh, navigate and I also added a spotlight to the camera itself so that you can see some of the darker corners. Um, the spotlight is slightly moved off from the center of the camera so you can actually see some of the sh shadowing effects as you move around the scene um, which adds to the ambience and kind of improves the overall aesthetic of the scene. The further work that I'd be looking at doing in this kind of project would be to eventually create, turn it into a fully fledged 3D game engine. Um, and in order to do that, I'd need to add bump mapping, uh, transparency, and other techniques such as uh, a physics engine to improve the way that objects interact and uh, bump off each other, um, with the overall aim being to improve the ambience and the way that it feels to be within the scene so that it reflects reality and, and it feels like a, a, a real-world environment. Um, and that's about it.